I'm known as a folk rock artist. I would describe my music to be soulful folk rock. And, um, you know, through the years that I've, I've been doing this music thing, it's, it's been evolving. And um, I guess you could say I'm not big on sticking to any one genre. Um, in the past couple of years, I've been focusing on how do I bridge um, my music uh, with my Jewish identity. You know, for a long time I always thought that, okay, I'm a folk rock singer-songwriter on one half, and on the other half I'm, I'm very connected to the Jewish world. Um, and these are two very important things to me, and I always thought they had to be separate. And so the beauty about the past few years and, and just the sort of the evolution of how things are and, um, and how things are going, that I was able to bridge these things by participating in a you know, variety show called Nice Jewish Girls Gone Bad, which had a, um, a group of wonderfully talented, non-stereotypical Jewish women. Uh, whatever that means to you, that's what it was. You know, we had a slam poet, we had burlesque dancers, we had me doing my music. Um, and that started this idea of, oh, I really can bridge these two together and I can start talking more openly about my experiences in Israel and where I was inspired to write this song about Jerusalem, you know, sitting in a cafe in Jerusalem and just watching, you know, during the Lebanese war with Israel, the second one, I, I'm sitting in a cafe watching life happen below me in the old city. And um, it's just about reflecting these moments that I'm experiencing in life through uh, through song. So. It, in one capacity, it's folk rock music, but I've also done a couple of videos that uh, became popular on YouTube. Uh, one was called Rosh Hashanah Girl, and the other one was called 20 Things to Do with Matzah. And, uh, you know, these were a couple minutes long that uh, ended up reaching over a million people around the world. And it sparked this, I, I'm very humbled to, to say what it's, what it's done is it's connected people. Not only have we reached them, but they've reached us and contacted us, you know, we had a 15-year-old girl who said, you made me proud to be a Jew. You make me proud to be a Jew. I saw this video and that's how I felt. To an 85-year-old um, Holocaust survivor who said, this is a miracle, how far we've come that you have the opportunity to do this. And so it's absolutely humbling to know what's possible in this day and age um, through the internet, um, especially. Um, so, so that's what I do. I also have a song that's topping the charts in Europe called Turn It On, a song I did vocals for. So when you ask what kind of genre I do, mainly it's folk rock music, but I'm, I'm big on, you know, not sticking to any one label and just kind of enjoying making all sorts of different music.